Hi everybody, it's Lori here to do a small, smallish book haul. I went out to Second and Charles to grab a couple of books for this week's vlog. My theme for the week is secret. So I wanted to pick a pick up a couple of books that I wanted to read this week and was able to find them at Second and Charles. They were really great condition. So I thought that would be great. And I have a surprise book that I want to open with all of you. But the first books, I talked about this. I said I was going to do it and I did. I purchased ninth house and hellbent my dogs are coming in because they want to say hello ninth house and hellbent i wanted to have copies of these for myself in my collection so i did go ahead and purchase them i wanted to make sure that i got them in the hardcover editions you know i don't want to wait until it's harder to get a hardcover edition that's brand new so i picked these up and i'm super happy to add them to the collection i will be reading them again i don't often read books more than once unless it's a favorite and these both i gave a five star and so i will be reading those again especially when the third book comes out i will definitely reread them the next two books I grabbed were for this TBR for the week, which is the word secret. That comes from Books and Lala or Kayla's buzzword challenge. I typically do one week in the month where I pick all books with that buzzword in the title somewhere. And so this week we are doing secret. So I picked up these two Nancy Drew mysteries. I loved Nancy Drew as a kid. Want to read a few of them. Get back into seeing what you know see if they're hokey I'm sure that they will be but I just I know there was one that I absolutely loved and of course I can't remember which one it was and maybe it won't have the same residence with me it probably won't but I'm excited you know nostalgia and everything so I have the secret of shadow ranch and the secret in the old attic there were quite a few of them that had secret in the title my husband kept saying just take the first one because it's a secret of the old clock or something and i read that recently i'm like i don't want to read it again <laughs> so anyway these are the two that i picked for this week there'll be more i have a couple on my shelves back here i'll try to work those in and when I go to Second and Charles, I'll look. These were in great condition, and this was $2.25. So I don't know really if this was used or if it just sat on somebody's shelf maybe, but $2.25, I'm pleased with that. The next book, we had gone to Barnes & Noble to pick up a book for my husband. And of course, I'm not going to just let him buy a book and me not get one. So I know a lot of people talk about this author. I have never read anything by this author. I know sacrilegious. It is V.E. Schwab. I picked up A Darker Shade of Magic. So this is a trilogy, I believe, right? So I thought this sounded really good right up my alley. This is a fantasy. I'm excited to give this a try. I like magic, magical fantasy. So we will give this a try and see what I think. And of course, I'll work it into an upcoming vlog. I need to figure out where I can work this in, but I'm excited to get to Kraken on this series. As a part of that visit, I also happened to notice a display that they had for St. Patrick's Day, my little gnomes, already pre-decorating for the holiday, but I happened to notice a display that they had at Barnes & Noble. I don't know if they were just Irish or St. Patrick's Day themes, and this was a cozy. I really did like this author. There was, she had another series that I really liked, so I saw this and I thought this sounded kind of good. Death on Tap, a Sloan Krause mystery. It says murder is intoxicating. It's a cozy mystery in a Bavarian town. I'm really interested. I will be adding this to my St. Patrick's Day theme, which is upcoming. You'll see a vlog for that as well. This looked fun. I really liked this author's other work, so I'm excited to start a new series. I don't mind starting a new series. I know a lot of people are trying to finish series. I'm going to love reading series because it always gives me something to look forward to if I'm really enjoying it. So to me, starting a new series, I don't care if I have 800 series going, just as something that, you know, is something to look forward to. I know that there are books that hopefully I will enjoy by a particular author and, you know, I can pick those up at any time. All right, so speaking of new series, I have the first book on my shelves back here somewhere. I was able to pick up these next two on such a good deal that I just grabbed them. I'm really hoping that I like them. I really do like anything Disney, truly. 
So I hope these are okay. I think they're going to be a fun, fast read. I believe there's these are middle grade. So this was Kingdom Keepers Disney at Dawn, book two. I have the first book behind me. And then the third book I got for $1.99 at Ollie's. So check your local Ollie stores if you have them for their book selection. I haven't really browsed that much. Happened to be walking by, saw this, and was like, oh my gosh, it's book three for $1.99. I was like, yes, okay. So I wanted to make sure I had book two and three and number one back on the shelf. So I will be reading these in an upcoming vlog. I do have it already planned at least to read the first two in the series and when I saw how cheap the third one was I wanted to make sure that I grabbed it. So now we're on to the final book and I've seen other booktubers do this and I thought it was a lot of fun but I didn't want to buy more than one in case this is a disaster. So I bought one of the blind date with a book <laughs> wrapped up and this and I can't I can't figure out what it is. It says it's been 30 plus years since he graduated from college and almost as long since he's been in touch with his former classmates. The three collide in an unexpected turn of events regarding alternative medicine, an archaeology find, and the Catholic Church. So I'm not sure. Let's open this up. I wanted to try to open it and peek, but I was unsuccessful. So we're just, I don't know, this could be, this could be a disaster. Okay, so this... Never heard of this, Robin Cook Intervention. So this looks like it came out in 2009. I'm interested. I will definitely be giving this a try. There is a week upcoming that I think I can slide this in. So that will work. I would have never picked it up otherwise. We will see what I think. This is a medical thriller. I have liked these types of books in the past. I will say I typically like female authors that write this type of book. So we will see. I'm going to give it a try. I thought it would be fun to try something totally different than I have tried in the past. And I will be sliding this into an upcoming TBR and will report back. So I am super excited about the books that I was able to pick up. Like I said, really small haul, but I wanted to show them to you, especially since these two are getting getting read this week and I want to get cracking on them. Let me know if you've read any of these books. I'm sure there are plenty of you that have read V.E. Schwab. Let me know if you have read anything from Ellie Alexander, if you've read Robin Cook in the past, the Disney After Dark series. I'm interested to know your thoughts and I'm excited to read these and talk about them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody! Mm -hmm.